Welcome to labmiss.com and our lab video series on NPLS. You can find a complete list of NPLS video on our website by clicking the link above and sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. In this video, we're going to be dealing with some of the advanced features of label advertisement. And this includes how to define a range of labels that you want to use in your NPLS network and how to apply a label filter to your neighbor. And then we'll look at how a default right is treated inside of NPLS by default. And finally, how to change your transport address for your LDP sessions. For our lab topology, we still use the exact same physical topology as our previous lab. We still have eight routers, R1 through R8, and one switch, switch one, with their physical connections as shown in this diagram. Okay, now as far as our layer three topology, we already have our MPLS configured between R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5 right here in the middle in the orange circle. And we also have a loopback zero from on all these devices advertised into EIGRP AS10. Okay, we also have verified the reachability between the edge devices, loopback 10 through 12. And our startup configuration in this lab is going to be based on what we had in the lab SP0001. Okay, and we're just going to continue our configuration from there. So let's get started with our task number one, label range and filter. Here we have to configure R1, R2, R3 to advertise labels within the ranges of 100 through 199, 200 through 299, and 300 to 399, respectively. Okay, so instead of using the default labels that those routers are going to choose, we're going to predefine the range that those routers are allowed to use. Okay, as shown in the diagram that we have this marked as this the label range. Okay, so we start off with our router one. First, let's see what we currently have as far as the local table in the or local label in the binding table. So here we do show MPLS LDP bindings local. You can see that by default, the router just randomly picks a unique labels for each of the prefix that it has in the routing table. As you can see, it starts around 16 and then it keeps incrementing from there. All right, so. For R1, we're going to make sure those labels are going to be between 100 through 199. So the command for that is MPLS label. The question mark, this is a range command. And then that will be a starting. So you can see the allowable or minimum allowable label number is 16 because anything below that and that's between 0 through 15. Those are reserve range for label. So we can start at 16, but we said it has to be between 100. And the maximum, you can see it goes all the way up to this very large number, but we're going to stop at 199 for R1. Okay, now if you go back and do show MPLS sub arrow, LDP binding local, you can see that those label hasn't really changed. And this is because what we need to do is to kind of reset the MPLS. And what we can do is we can do no MPLS IP, and then that would practically take down all the neighbors LDP sessions. And then we can re-enable that to get the MPLS uh, start again. Okay, some of the routers, you might also have to reload the router just to make sure that those label range gets utilized. But for a newer one, I can, all you need to do is just disable the MPLS and re-enable it. And now if you do up arrow and do show MPLS LDP binding local one more time, you can see that these label that's been allocated, it's part of the range that we just defined. So starting at 100 and just keep incrementing. So now we're going to have to repeat that same process for R2 and R3. So jumping over to R2, MPLS label, range 200 to 299, no MPLS IP, MPLS IP. Okay. Then do show MPLS LDP binding local. Okay, start with 200. So there we took effect. Now jumping over to routed 3. MPLS label range 300, 399. Okay, and then no MPLS IP, MPLS IP, and then show MPLS LDP binding local. Okay, 300. Keeps incrementing. Now, since we have made that change, the new label should have been advertised to both R4 and R5. So let's get on to R5 and see. What it's currently receiving as far as label from R2 and R3. So jumping over to R5, we do show MPLS LDP 
binding from the labels coming from a specific neighbors and let's do let's say to 16.0.2 you can see it's receiving some implicit nulls and then the label from R2 starting at 200. Okay, we should be seeing something similar from R3 implicit null and then starting at 300. Okay, so that's complete that particular items. Now we need to configure R4 to only send labels for a switch one loop back 10 through 12 to R2 and R3. Okay, and we need to make sure that R4 stops sending the label altogether to R5. So let me bring this up. So what we're going to do now, so by default, R4 advertised pretty much everything to all of its LDP neighbors. So what we're going to do now is to limit these label advertisement to just switch one loopback 10 to 12, and then we're going to stop advertising the label altogether to R5. Okay, this is where we get into label filtering or advertisement for a filter for the advertisement. Before we start making any changes, let's take a look at what currently R2, R3, and R5 is receiving right now from R2, uh, R4 rather. So that would be show MPLS LDP binding neighbor. Okay, as you can see that it's currently receiving a whole lot of labels right now from R4. Now let's take a look at R3. We see the same thing. And then R5. Right, so we should be seeing way less label when we're done, and R5 shouldn't be seeing any labels at all because we're going to tell R4 to stop advertising label to R5. So now that the configuration is going to be performed on R4, first we're going to have to come up with a access list to match the peer that we still want to advertise our label to. And in this case, we want to continue advertising label to R4 and R3. We'll call it back zero, and those are the router ID for LDP. And then this is a standard access list, host 0.2 and then 0.3. Okay, and then we have to come up with another access list to define the range of prefix that we still want to advertise the label, and we said that's going to be switch one. Loopback interface, we're going to call it switch one and scroll out low. And the permitted range is 10, 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 2, 5, 5. And that should cover all three of these loopbacks. Okay, as you can see, it start with 10, 10, and then third octet 0, 1, 2. So I can do a slash 22 to cover all that. And that gets translated to 0, 0, 3, 2, 5, 5 for the reverse mask. Okay, so first we're going to have to stop advertising the label altogether. So there will be no MPLS LDP here, advertise label. So we're starting with advertising nothing. And then we're going to start permitting some advertisement. So after that, we have the option for 4, which is the access list that contains the destination prefix. And that would be a reset that the R4 has to advertise which one loopback 10 to 12 to R3, uh, R2 and R3. So that would be our access list, switch one, LO, uh, four, switch one, LO. And then we have an option to specify what LDP or which LDP neighbors you want to advertise that to. So that's another access list which we configured that define R3, uh, four, loopback zero. Okay, so give it a second. We can do show access list. And here we already have a match for, for actually, I think I used a in proper access list name since it should be R2 and R3 here. So let me go back and fix that real quick. So let me redo that. My apologies. So there will be no IP access list standard. Just delete that out together. And that should be R2, R3. Okay. Once again, permit host, I want to say to 16, 0 .2, 0 0.2, and then I have to redo this command right here to reflect the new ACL name, which is R2, R3. All right, so there you go. With proper name, R2, R3, we got a match, and as well as the switch one, loopback, 
10 through 12 kind of match as well. So now to verify, we can hop on to our two, and just do up arrow. And you can see that all that we see as far as label being received by R2 from R4 is just three labels for the three prefixes. Okay, which is switch one, loop back 10 through 12. And we don't see any other labels. We should be seeing the same thing on R3. So up arrow, and R3 is receiving the same thing, just three labels. Okay, now as far as R5, we should not be seeing anything, which we don't. All right, so the filter is working, and that filter once again apply on the router R4. Now, moving down to the next line item, which is configure R2 to only receive label from R4 switch one lead back 10 from R4. So now we know that the R4 is currently advertising this the three labels for these three loopbacks to R2. And instead of applying the filter at the source, now we're gonna kinda apply the filter at the destination. So now on R2, we're gonna tell it to only accept loopback 10. Okay, and then you're just gonna discard loopback 11 and 12. So now on R2, then everything starts with access list, standard, we're gonna call it switch one, loopback 10 this time, and then we're just gonna permit the loopback 10 IP, which is 10, 10, Zero zero two zero zero two five five two five. Uh, actually, it's uh, zero two five five because it's slash twenty. And then the command for that is MPLS LDP, and then we have to specify the neighbor where the label will be advertised from. In this case coming from R four. Then we have a option for a label, except, and that ties to the access list they will define the list of prefix that the router will accept with the label. Okay, so again, show access list. Okay, we, it took a couple seconds, but we now got a match on our access list. And now if we do a show MPLS RDP binding with the neighbor R4 one more time, now we're just down to just one label, which is the switch one loop back 10. Okay, before we scroll up, we were seeing three labels right here. And now on R2, we just enforce that label filter. And now we're just down to one. Okay, and we can also do show MPLS forwarding. And you see that it has absolutely no label for the one that's coming in through serial 000, which is facing R4. Just to make it kind of clear, let me do that filter on that. You see all of these has no label except for the 10100. Okay, so that completes our task number one.